Welcome back. I'm just going to slip in a lunge pose here, just in case warrior one doesn't work for your knees, doesn't work for your hips. I'm going to bring in a lunge option for our sun salutation V. Okay. Um, your lunge is one of the most, well, in my vinyasa anyway, <laughs> it's quite commonly used a nice lunge. And there's lots of different variations of the lunge. So it's a, it's a good one to know. It's a good one to have in your armory, if you like. Um, so with that warrior one, we took a shorter stance just behind the hands. With a lunge, it's quite a long stance. It's, it's a long, it's a lunge, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll come to downward dog, chest pressing back, just a loose downward dog. I'm not going crazy in my down dog. We bring the foot forward. So some people can't get their foot to the top of the mat. That's fine. You can step the foot. You can even drop to the knee and bring that right foot forward. This might be where we start with our lunge. Okay. It might be that we start on that back knee. And we press the hips forward. So what I see in lunges is this, uh, that box. Again, feel into your body. I mean, if you are getting a stretch in your hip flexor, groovy. Um, but feel into it. If you're not feeling any sort of stretch through the back of the, this front leg, not feeling any sort of stretch into the front of the back leg, maybe no sort of stretch through the inner thighs. Those are adductors. Um, Think about what you're doing. The lunge, taking the foot forward. We want the hips to fall forward. If we're on the back knee, don't mind if the toes are tucked or untucked. Depends what you find more st uh, stable. But that right sit bone here is heading towards my right heel. Okay? So we're getting a nice stretch. Essentially, lower half of the body, this is our lunge. We've got nice angle on that back leg. So we're feeling the stretch through, potentially into that left hip flexor, that back leg hip flexor. Feeling a stretch potentially through that right hamstring into the glute. This will be different to body to body, okay? Every body is different, all right? Um, you may feel a stretch through the inner thighs into the groin here. Then to complete the lunge, sweep the arms up. And again, there are lots of variations. Try not to compress into the lower back. Again, tendency is as you pull the arms up, if you've got tight shoulders, then you compensate the tight shoulders by dropping into a back bend. Okay, there are variations, cactus arms, which we can go into, but for this, sweep the arms up, shoulders peel back, and then down the body. Pull that sternum in. Okay, shoulders above the hips, straight down. Okay, so this is low lunge onto the back knee if this is more accessible. Okay, tuck the toes. Go back to your downward dog. Say so we're doing full high lunge. And bring that right foot forward if we can. Again, it doesn't matter how many steps you take to get that foot to the top of the mat. I come up onto my right fingertips. Step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Let's come up here. Okay. So that right hip's pulling back and the left hip's pulling forward. So the hips are square to the top of the mat. Knees roughly above that right ankle, that front ankle. Doesn't matter, as long as it's not causing pain, can be a little bit more here. Again, as long as it's not causing pain into the knee or the ankle, but tend knee above the heel. That back thigh, so what I see a lot in the lunge is this kind of turnout. I do feel a stretch, but it's not very good, not very comfortable. That left, that back thigh, that back quad, engage that back quad. By engaging those muscles, you're pulling the thigh to the sky. So we're getting as straight and as strong as we can into that back leg. Nice muscular engagement up through there into the hip flexor. And then, once we've got that back leg nice and engaged, then we let the, hip, let the hips fall forward towards that front heel. Okay. So compare this, kind of droopy. Compare that, nice and strong in that back leg, nice strong foundation, pushing the hips forward. Then we can take the arms up. Again, sternum in, shoulders back, draw down the side of the body. Nice strong lunge, nice and stable, nice and fixed. Option on or off the knee. The only difference is engagement into that quad, lift up. Okay, shoulders above the hips. 
breathe. Feel the burn. Feel the burn in that front leg. Well done. Good. Do the left side. <laughs> Bringing it forward. <clears throat> so again, that back quad engaged. Fire to the sky, nice and strong. Lift through that back leg. Then the hips fall forward. Sweep the arms. Option. Low lunge. Drop to the knee. Well done. Ooh, strong. <laughs> it's a strong pose. Enjoy it. Practice it. Film it back. See how it looks. See how it feels compared to how it looks. And uh, we'll drop it into a sequence. And you've had 